about as hot as fucking monkey's ass lips. But it's still. Moron Monday. We deal with morons every day, especially right now. You see them everywhere. They're coming out the fucking woodworks. I read about seven fucking pages of things you need in case of a corona outbreak. And not one of them motherfuckers said 27 packs of fucking toilet paper. This has got to be the shittiest nation that I've ever seen in my life. But whatever it is, it is. I don't shit that much. Just letting you know. We're going to cover corona. But I got to take care of this dude. This right here is moron number one. Now we've all heard the old saying, never bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, they got people that don't like guns, and I understand they, that's your opinion. But uh, let me tell you something, if I ever go into a gunfight, I'm bringing me a lot of guns. This dude here gonna show you how badass a knife is. Check him out. This is for all you gun people. I'm here to show you the capabilities of the knife. If you move too slow, or you rely too much on that one shot to take him down, <laughs> you gotta move. But now, I'm gonna tell you now, I ain't relying on that one shot. I'm loading the whole fucking clip, as big of a clip as I can stick in that motherfucker. And ha! Ah! Ah! Uh, you would have been shot about nine times. I could have reloaded that motherfucker and then shot you nine more times. I'm just saying, that's with the small clip in it. I understand some people uh, don't like gun violence and stuff. I'm not saying go out and just shoot a motherfucker, but I mean, really and truthfully, if you got to bring a knife to a gunfight, you just a dead son of a bitch. Don't be that moron. Protect yourself and your family at all times, and that's how I look at it, you know, and that's what I do. I don't ever pull a gun out unless I got to. I mean, that's only if somebody's uh, going to threaten me and try to kill me. Then uh, I'm going to kill them back. Now on to moron number two. Moron number two is not really a moron thing. It's more like a, I want to know what the fuck is going on with this whole bullshit. Watching you is they gonna give you one story. That, and that's a bad thing. Fucking media fucks something up so bad it's amazing because they're not worried about the truth. They're worried about getting the word out and the story and be the first one to do it. What I really want to know is what is the real deal with this corona? Uh, did the Chinese send it over? Was it the Democrats that like planned this whole fucking shebang out? Is it some kind of fucking thing with the 5G? Because I heard another one uh, yesterday. It was something about that every time there was a major thing, like 1917, they had radio waves came out. All kind of people got sick. They called it the flu, called it a virus, come to find out. It was just basically like radiation fucking hitting your body. And if your body couldn't take it, then you was going to get sick and it made flu-like symptoms. Did the Chinese get with the Democrats and then uh, plan this whole shit out? Or is it just all these big billionaires in the world, which this is what I think. It's the big billionaires in the world. The fuck was that? It's the big billionaires in the world that decided, they say, uh, we want to control the world. So uh, we got to, to do something to control these people because they're just having too much goddamn fun. See, what's going to really happen is everybody's going to go stir fucking crazy in their house. Uh, which is not my problem because uh, I have to go to work every day and I can still work right now and I'm appreciative of that and uh, once again I feel sorry for the people that can't work but the people that is in that house will go, go stir crazy because it look like a bunch of fucking zombies running around and they gonna get fucked up by guns. This dude with this fucking knife, he gonna be the first motherfucker. This goes to the whole, we got a lake around here so you can go jet skiing, you can go boating and you can go hang out and you can tie up together and 
I don't know what the whole rules are because I ain't been on the lake because I was on the lake all my damn life and I just don't do it no more. Not that often, maybe once or twice a year. But anyway, so they can go out there on the river and they can go have fun, which I'm all about that and I'm cool with that. But it's not fair that we can't go drag racing on 30 acres of land with 200 people. It is what it is. I'm not going to bitch about it because I'm going to tell you now they're going to piss me off enough and I'm going to put my motherfucking blue car on that fucking road out there and I'm going to make me a hit before it's over with. If not, I'm going to go to fucking somebody like Travis Tipperdo's house because he's planting lines in front of his house and talking about the gates is open at 5 o'clock in the morning or whatever the shit it is. I'm going to make hits. It's just going to lead to me getting in trouble with the cops for making hits. It's gonna, they're going to want to impound my car and then there goes the gunfight again. Uh... You're going to make people do stupid shit, government. I'm just letting y'all know. And I think there's a plot to this whole corona thing, a cover uh, up or something like that, which is cool. This is my opinion, and it's my show, so I can do this. But uh, it's so funny how the corona shit is taking over so bad that this happened. And yet nobody heard a word from the bird with the turd. Ain't that some bullshit? Joe Biden got accused of sexual misconductation, confrontation, masturbation. I don't know what it was. It was something like that. My opinion, again, uh, that motherfucking George Soros motherfucker, you know, the Democrats, big hoo-ha billionaire, uh, his words was, uh, I will make sure Trump does not get reelected. Even if it takes crashing the economy. Hmm. Good job, you old fucking dickweed. You're doing a good job. Trust me. If we ever find out it's all you, <laughs> you're going to be like fucking the next Hillary Clinton victim. So the word on the street is this is supposed to be the worst week of it all. And then hopefully it'll start going downhill. I really don't give a rat's ass. As long as they open the gates to the fucking racetrack, I'm a happy motherfucker. And last but not least, we got more on the bus. In the midst of all this bullshit, you knew somebody was going to do some dumb, fucked up shit like this. Why in the fuck would you name your kids Corona and COVID? That relates them to the two worst things that we done dealt with in a long fucking time over here in the United States of America. Them kids is gonna be fucked up. They're gonna pick on them some bitch you're talking about. You ain't nothing but a fucking disease, motherfucker. You need to be vaccinated. You just ain't right. This goes back to don't do fucking retarded shit. Prove the world wrong. Show them you're not such a dumbass after all. But no. <laughs> y'all got to pull some fucked up ass bullshit and name y'all kids after the goddamn worst fucking pandemic in the last fucking hundred years. Fucking amazes me. All right, people. Lesson one. If ever invited to a gunfight, do not, and I repeat, do not bring a knife. You're going to be like fat ass, out of breath. You'll get fucked up. Bring a gun. If you ain't got one, go buy one. It's called a gunfight for a motherfucking reason. Lesson two. If we ever find out who is responsible for this fucked up ass bullshit Stop, stopping us from having fun and going out and hanging out with friends and drinking beer? Well, I'm still drinking beer, and I'm still drinking with friends, but we're not at the racetrack and it ain't that fun. But if we ever find out who's responsible, don't be that dickhead, because you're going to get fucked up. I'm just letting you know. They got a lot of people mad at you right now. You're causing people their jobs. You, I know you don't give a fuck. But if we ever find out who you is, <laughs> you is a fucked up motherfucker. You gonna be worse off than that fucking dude over there at that fucking racetrack, fucking steer queer. And lesson three. Do not name your fucking kids after some pandemic or a virus or a fucking disease or a fucking nothing in that area. You know, like, don't name your kid cancer. Because cancer sucks, and then people could go around picking a motherfucker and be like, hey, what's your name, cancer? You suck. I mean, that's just the point, you know? Nobody likes fucking cancer, you know? So, don't be a jackass. Just name the motherfucker Steve or Bob. If it's a girl, Sally will do, you know? You can even name it Josephine or something. That's cool. Josephine, Johnny, Josephine, Johnny. We got to play that. 
But anyway, just name the motherfucker regular names. You ain't got to name this motherfucker Mustafa and motherfucking COVID and Corona and motherfucking whatever else. Just name the motherfucker regular name. So that's our moron Mondays for today, and uh, our lessons are learned. Please do not be retarded like these motherfuckers out here, and quit buying fucking toilet paper still. You know, I didn't go hoard fucking toilet paper or food because, uh, well, I had some food in my house, and I had toilet paper. But one day, I'm going to eventually get low, and whenever I do get low, if I find out you're a moron, and you got all the fucking toilet paper, I'm coming to your house, and that's going to be the gunfight. I'm just going to let you know about that one, too. Cause, or either that, or I'm coming to your house every day, and I'm going to drop a deuce in your fucking toilet. And I'm not even, I'm going to wipe my ass, and I'm going to leave it there and make you smell it. Just because you hoarded toilet paper. That's it. All right, people. I got to roll, because it's fucking Monday, and I'm going to drink some beer. I got to fucking go try out some fucking weed eaters shit. <sighs> Pray for me. But anyway, it's all good in the hood, and I will see y'all sexy son bitches next Monday. I love y'all. Y'all stay sexy. Later.